Test record. Test record one. Is the volume okay? Test record. Can you hear the fan? Hello and welcome back to part 16 of this Take It tutorial series. Today I finally got around to putting in some red power restuff. So we're going to get straight in there with an ally furnace. Now an ally furnace is probably one of the main components of red power as pretty much everything is made inside an ally furnace. It's just simple, eight bricks around the outside and this will get you an alloy furnace. So next we're going to make some blue alloy ingots and as you see any recipe that I've got in these chests which has an alloy furnace above them requires you to smelt this item inside an alloy furnace. So I'll show you how, I'll show you how it's done in a bit but to begin with we're going to make this blue alloy ingot which is done by having a silver ingot so all that silver you've probably been just throwing away is now needed I need to smelt one one silver ingot with four clumps of nickelite, which you've also probably been throwing away. So the reason we're making these blue alloy ingots is because pretty much everything needs them. All the machineries need them. So a blue electric furnace, which is a furnace which uses blue electricity to cook things instead, is made by we shouldn't take that some uh, five clay blocks. So you have to combine some clay that you've smashed up two iron ingots and a blue alloy ingot and that will get you your blue electric furnace and we're going to need some blue alloy wire now this is the main cabling of red power and it's pretty much the only cable of red power so you'll, you'll need a fair amount of this over the, over the time that you're building things but it's made with six wool down the sides and three alloy ingots and that will get you twelve blue alloy wire so next we're going to make a handsaw. Now a handsaw is made with three sticks, two iron ingots and two diamonds. We're going to make a diamond one. You can make sapphire, uh, rubies, etc. Uh, I think the lowest you can make is iron, but it's just all to do with durability and things that can cut. So you want a diamond because you want to be able to cut everything up. And I'll show you how to cut things in a bit. So eventually what this is going to lead up to is making some blue electric solar panels. And to start with, we're going to need to make some of these silicon bools, which are made by using by putting coal and sand in the alloy furnace, and this will give us one silicon bool. And basically, these silicon bools, all that they're used for is turning into silicon wafers. This is, literally, they have no other use whatsoever. So, if you put a silicon bool and a handsaw in a crafting table, you'll get these silicon wafers, which are just thin discs of silicon and you'll get 16 of these per silicon bowl which is pretty good. So we're going to need these blue doped wafers which combine silicon wafers with nickelite so more nickelite so get digging because you'll need some more and we'll need eight of these for the solar panel. And to make a solar panel you just surround a blue alloy ingot with blue doped wafers and this will get you one solar panel. Now the next thing we're going to make is a sorting machine which will eventually be used to upgrade our sorting facility. So for this we're going to need three red doped wafers which is just silicon wafers with redstone and we're going to use these to make a filter. Now a filter is a component in a sorting machine but it can also be used by itself. I don't quite know how it works but it seems really pointless if you can just make a sorting machine. So I wouldn't worry too much about putting it on the floor. But a filter is made with three cobblestone on the top, cobblestone at each bottom corner, gold bars on the sides, and a piston in the middle with a red dot wafer at the bottom middle. And then to make the sorting machine, you just put iron ingots across the top and the bottom two corners, a blue alloy ingot in the bottom middle, the filter that you've just made in the very middle, and two more red dot wafers on each side. So the next thing we're going to need is tubing or piping and for this you're going to need some brass ingots which are combining tin and copper in an alloy furnace. Now this is actually two, two lots, oh no is it? No, that's a lie, that's only one lot of the recipe and it'll get you four ingots and then if you put two brass ingots either side of a glass you'll get some pneumatic tube which are very handy indeed. Now as you can see I've already run out of room, I've had to add extra chests. That's because 
Red Power has a lot of recipes. So first of all, we're going to need to make some tin plating, which is one tin and two iron ingots in an alloy furnace. Now this is the this is two lots of the recipe, and this will get you some tin plate. And then if you make a U shape of tin plate, you'll get yourself a paint can. If I just head over to the other side, we're going to make ourselves a paint brush, which is a stick and some wool. Now this is different to the paint roller for the cabling. This, this is only works on pneumatic tubes, and the paint roll only works on cables. So next we're going to make the dye for the paintbrush, which is the paint can that we've just made, some dye, and some flax seeds. So you're going to have to go out and bash some grass to get those flax seeds, and this gets you paint. Now this can be any colour dye, but it'll give you the corresponding colour paintbrush. And then you just combine the paintbrush and the paint, and you'll get yourself a coloured paintbrush. So I'm just going to head over to my little area that I've set up here for my red alloy stuff. Sorry I've got a bit of a runny nose if you keep hearing sniffing. For, su for some reason it just won't stop running in this last like 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to whack down this uh, alloy furnace. No, is it an alloy furnace? Yes it is an alloy furnace. And this blue electric furnace here. I'm going to put the sorting machine down here. Now you you want to put a block where you want the tubing to come out of and then place it because you want these little circly eye-shaped things to be pointing towards the chest. Now you can't connect these up to a um, with tubes to a chest otherwise it won't work I don't think. So just connect it directly to a chest anyway it's far more compact this way. So I'll come back to these in a second but next I'm going to set up the solar panels on the roof. Now these are really easy to set up. You just get your wire. I'm just going to wire this down the side like so like this, and get this nice and far out. Now you can make bat boxes but I'll go over this next time. As you see it's going to be quite a long episode if I went over absolutely everything that you need to begin with. But I've just gone with the most interesting stuff first. So you just connect these up quite nicely like so. And then back inside with the wires we can hook this up to this furnace if I move it over one. Because it's got to have room to hit the floor. Silly me. Like so, and then I'm going to connect this power supply up to this sorting machine as well. Now, as you can see, this little bar will fill up, and the more solar panels you have, the more power it will gain. Uh, this is its charge, but you've got to wait for this this secondary bar to fill up before it will actually do anything. I think, hopefully. Uh, same with this one. As you can see, it's got a lot of power, so it's been powering this one. Whoa! Where'd all that power just go? It went into there. Okay, this is a little bit weird. I've never noticed that before. But these will eventually power up. Now an alloy furnace, basically you just cook things in it. It's like any other thing. You can put coal or wood. Just whack that in there. And then you just put your ingredients in here and it will give you the result out on this side. And it's just like a normal, a normal like furnace but it, cra it combines things as well as cooking them. So it's pretty cool. The blue electric furnace is just a furnace. It will smelt objects. So if you put iron ingot, uh, an iron block in there it will smelt so let's quickly just test it. There you go see. Nice and fast and one iron bar so yeah, it's, it's okay. I don't know if it can smelt dust but I would think it would be able to smelt dust. So next I'm going to go on to this sorting machine. I'm going to connect these up to pipes like so and I'm just going to get myself an extra paint brush because that will be very handy. Uh, we'll go for orange. So I'm going to paint this top one orange and this bottom one red and then I have to put another pipe in like so. So I've got an orange chest and a red chest and inside this chest you'll see I've got lots of different ingredients so I'm just going to take one of one of each just for now just so I can show you and one of them. So in here you want to right click this little icon on the side so it looks like a box with an arrow down. Now this just means anything that's not in here will come out of a tube and go to this corresponding colour down here. So anything that I don't put in these slots will end up coming out of this orange coloured tube. And I'll explain this a bit more when we get things in motion. So I want only diamonds to come into this orange tube. So I'm not going to put any diamonds in here. But in the red, let's see, I'll just flick through a bit. There we go. Now if you flick this to red, uh, so now that we've got this and it's hopefully got power, oh, oh yeah, so red, got the red one, 
sorry, my, my uh, game just crashed, which is why I've just lost track of it where I was. So if we just put an iron ingot in here, a gold ingot, a silver ingot, etc. Blue, blue alloy. And we get ourselves a lever. And we just move, say, the solar panel out the way. If you get ourselves a lever and put this here. Now, in here, we've got some diamonds and some stuff. If I right, if I turn the lever on, ingot came out the red, came out, went through the red. Gold bar, tin bar maybe, blue alloy, diamond, all the diamonds. So it went through and it goes through by stacks. So it'll be two diamonds, two diamonds, there's nothing left. So that's how the sorting machine works. It's, it's sorted it quite well I would say, it's split it into the boxes that I wanted. Now if I come over to my actual sort, new sorting facility, which is immensely huge. You see I've got some solar panels up here and it's not quite finished, it's still a work in progress but all the resources get pumped into here and then they get dragged out. The things that need to be... what is this? What's happened to my... my rotary macerator has lost all its textures. So all my macerators have lost the textures. Weird. Anyway, uh, so anything that's macerating goes in here and then if it doesn't need smelting it goes up and if it does it comes in here and it gets smelted in this induction furnace and then in here I've got all my bars set up and if you do something like this with a diamond pipe like you put one iron ingot here and two so it will send one iron ingot up and then two iron ingots back so out of three iron ingots that went in two will go back round and be turned into refined iron and one will go up and then I've got my compressor so anything that is compressing comes in here and then gets spat out back into the pipe and then my extractor in here and so and so. But then I've got all this here and you can see this working quite nicely. Uh, lots of different things. This one is fuel so I've got lots of fuel here and that goes down the pipe so this bit of coal will go down there like so and all the cobblestone will go out to the other side. So if I quickly go down, down on the inside you'll see coal coming along here. Well, in fact if the sun on top like this You'll see coal's going to go up there now, and all the cobblestone is going to go all the way over there, which leads into my condenser, so that can be condensed into diamonds, which I don't really need anymore, so I don't know why I'm doing it. But as you can see, I've got lots of cobblestone and such. I don't know why cobblestone's going backwards. Is it going backwards? I can't tell. There is literally so much cobblestone that I cannot tell. I don't even know what this pipe is back here. It's been it's been a while since I've made this. Oh, it just goes under. Uh, these pipes these pneumatic tubes will connect to pipes so you have to watch out for this and if I go back up next time I'll be going over how to make things such as bat boxes that I've got up here I've got these bat boxes that contain charge just like normal bat boxes so as you can see it's got lots of power in it and this clicking that you can hear is a timer and I'll show you how to make things such as timers latches, repeaters, you know things like that that are coming quite handy and also this wire this uh, red alloy wire and how I caught it. So I hope this has quenched your hunger for red alloy and stuff similar in there but there's literally far too much for me to do in one episode so I'm going to have to break it down quite a lot. And As you can see this episode's run quite long as I imagine. I don't actually know how long it is yet but I'm soon to find out. So hope you've learned something. There'll be a subscribe button at the top if you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, tell your friends, get them in, get, create a server, go crazy. And I'll catch you next time, guys. See you later.